Here we have the on-off valve or cutting head. We're going to go ahead and assemble these parts here. We start off by taking our poppet and getting our seals together here. We'll have the small red O-ring. Get some Parker lube on it and put it onto our high pressure seal. Then we'll get a bit of Parker lube and put on the shaft of the poppet. Okay. If you're in a food grade application, it's important you use food grade lube rather than the Parker lube. Now we have the red O-ring onto the high pressure seal and we want the O-ring to be facing this star-shaped piece on the end of our poppet here. So we'll push it on and then next is our buttress and the buttress like uh, the buttress in our bleed down valve is flat on one side and chamfered on the other. So we always want the flat side to meet up with the flat side on the seal. So we push it down. I like to push it down about that far just so I can barely hold it with my fingertips here. And next we'll drop it in from the top side of our valve body here and just let it sit down inside there until it hits the o-ring and then we'll use our high pressure seal retainer and sit in there and just push those seals down with our thumb so next we will blue goop our retainer just a small amount here I like to set it down in there and smear it around so we get a nice even coat on there. Next we have the poppet landing. I'll get some blue goop on both sides of this. Smear it around a bit. And then drop it down in the valve body. I'll just push it down there a little bit with my finger. Make sure it's seated down in there flat. Next we have the O-ring that goes, goes in this side. And this O-ring doesn't do any sealing for us. This is just to hold the landing in there. If we're changing nozzles out over the cutting table, it holds the poppet in there so it doesn't fall into the water on you. And Parker Lube is important on this o-ring. If we put it in dry, it has a tendency to hang up on the end of this nozzle body and roll up underneath here where we need to have our sealing surface and then it leaks. So make sure our o-ring's down in there. And then next, I'll blue goop the threads on this nozzle body. Thread it in. And we will tighten it up. We want to tighten this down now before we put it onto the actuator. So now we have this. And we're going to screw it into the actuator here until it comes up snug against the O-ring on the actuator. So it won't go anymore. Now we're going to apply air to it. And finish turning this the rest of the way in by hand there. And what that does is raise the, the piston up in the actuator and take the pressure off of the poppet so it's not grinding itself into the poppet landing as we tighten that down. So then we need a one and an eighth and an inch and a sixteenth and we just torque this to 35 foot-pounds. Take our air off, put the collar block on, then we blue goop our fitting
I also like to put a bit of blue goop on the back side of this insert. Just gives it a little lubricant there when we're tightening it down. And then we thread this into the collar block and tighten it down. Tighten it down and we're ready to put this back on and start cutting.